call this our the ten barrel room, or it used to be called the barrel room. There was a couple barrels in here, but they're not in here anymore. But because uh, all of the matters where a ten barrel and a ten barrel break tank in here, it's kind of the highlight of this room is we have a cast concrete fermenter here. It came from a Sonoma cast stone up in the Napa Valley. It was custom made for us. Three hundred plus gallon tank. It looks much smaller than the stainless ones, even though it's, it's actually the same volume, about 320, 330 gallons. It's actually done in meters. But, uh, you know, some advantages of the stone, it's it's got a better shape to it, so you get a lot more convection with the fermentation in it. Uh, so, fruity beers and, and a little, some, you know, we could, we're going to, you know, experiment with some more old world styles. You know, we think about how beer was fermented thousands of years ago. It sure wasn't done in stainless steel. <laughs> it was done in, you know, in, in basically in, in you know, clay pots and, you know, basically, you know, not with formulations that are much different than, than what you see here. So we actually got the first batch going in this thing that we made. Uh, hoping to have it out next Friday or so. You can see it's still bubbling away there. So yeah. it may not quite be ready next Friday. We're hoping it's ready for the three day weekend, but if it's not, we'll, we'll push it out to the following Friday. Uh, it's a single hop pale ale that's in here. Um, simple grain bill and all its Aka hops. Uh, are in it, um, should be a nice fruity pale ale, 5.8%, uh, about 40 IBUs is what's coming out of there uh, next week, we hope. All right. What does the stone do to the flavor? Uh, should add a little bit of minerality to it, but it shouldn't have too much. On a beer like this, it won't have a whole lot of effect on the flavor. It should be, uh, should be you know, fairly neutral, but, you know, they say that, you know, there's only you know, less than 10 of these at, bre at breweries all over the country. So not every style and not everything has been done in it. So we're, I think we're all going to find out together, you know, and, but Have whatever you it is. doing some, some ancient ale type yeah, beers in there? Some more, you know, farmhouse style stuff. We'll do saisons in this, you know, probably an old ale, maybe even like an English style something. <clears throat> you know, we may yeah. go back and pull out, a, you know, a, you know, some old recipes. I know we've got a cockmooser before, you know, one of our brewers here at Steam. I said a coffee was brought up, might be something cool that we can do in this. You know, it's a honey and, and molasses, you know, based old German style. Nice, yeah. um, you know, three dried pipes go out here. Um, you know, something like that. So, you know, not a lot of real hoppy beers are going to be made in this. It's not really necessarily for that. It's going to be things that are a little more on the sweet or sweet side or farmhouse, you know, we might do a bread beer in here or something like that. We have a really Narrowed it down to any one style, we can do pretty much a lot of time we, on your hands. Yeah, we can do pretty much anything we want in this thing. It's just a uh, you know, it, it looks really cool for one, and uh, it's a nice showpiece. It's a nice thing to that you know, we're, we're you know, the only place in Arizona that has it, one of the few breweries in, in the United States that does. So, so we'll uh, we'll pick some stuff out of there, it'll be really cool and hopefully really delicious.